All right guys, I'm gonna shoot a quick video on how to clean your throttle body. And the reason you might wanna do this is just because one, it can be really dirty. Uh, you can have a sticky throttle, which means you press on the gas, it takes a while to either get up to the speed that you meant to, or it might take a while to get down from the speed that you meant to, and speed as in rotations per minute. A throttle body actually gets pretty dirty due to the, the kind of ventilation systems, the PCV system that you might have on your intake manifold, which are the lines that run across and they recycle blow-by oil. And this is especially an issue I find in the third gen Hemis or Hemis in general, how they recycle the blow by because there is a lot of blow by oil. That's why people use catch cans. But um, if you're having the issues with uh, sticky throttle or maybe a rough idle, uh, this can definitely be your solution. And if you have a Hemi, I highly suggest checking it out because when I did this, I think my Jeep had 90,000 miles on the original throttle body. It was caked. It might, must have been like an eighth of an inch thick of just carbon buildup on my throttle plate. but. Um, you'll see here, this throttle body is a BBK 85 millimeter Power Plus throttle body, um, and I think it has around 8,000 miles on it. So you'd think, you know, there's not going to be much oil on it or a carbon buildup or anything like that. So it looks fine from the front. I took the intake tube off, and I knew the back was going to look like this, but just check out the back. And it's not bad whatsoever. In reality, I didn't need to clean it yet, but. There really shouldn't be this much blow by oil building up, carbon build up, and, you know, so I'm gonna take care of the PCV lines after this as well. I do have a catch can, but uh, there is another line that goes to right behind the air filter on the air intake, and right behind the air filter on the air intake, and you probably will see in the uh, removal of my throttle body how much oil there actually does build up inside of the intake tube and just on the bottom of the intake manifold, so. Uh, doing this I think is an important step if you want to maintain you know your, your proper idle and everything like that and and functionality of your throttle body and I do want to take note that while you have it off um, or, or before you even go ahead and take it off go ahead and read manufacturer specs on if you can even clean your throttle body um, on the Jeep Grand Cherokees or the third gen Hemis I know the throttle bodies are very uh, picky I guess you could say you're not supposed to clean them theoretically but um, in my opinion, they need it, so I'm going to show you the proper way to clean it, and I have a proper cleaner right here that will go into detail how to use instead of just using brake cleaner or anything like that that can damage the, the components on the inside. Alright, so what I'm going to be using right here is Berryman's air intake cleaner, and I do want to note that this is completely different than a uh, intake manifold cleaner, if I could find out. Oh, here it is. This is an intake manifold cleaner meant to do something that you would see where you pour a cleaner inside of your vacuum lines or something of the sort and you'll get a ton of smoke out of the exhaust. That's not what the air intake cleaner is. This is meant to clean your throttle body or if you have a carburetor, different components other than the intake. So um, it is kind of confusing in the directions. They say to spray this right before your throttle body after disconnecting your air intake. But that's if you do not want to uninstall your throttle body. So with a throttle body installed, it's much easier. You don't have to use an entire can and in my opinion is much more effective because you can actually see yourself get rid of the carbon buildup that's on the back or the front or whatever it is. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to clean it. Uh, first I'm going to take it off. I have a video on how to take it off of a Jeep Grand Cherokee 2005 5.7 liter V8 which is also the 2005 2010 2006 to 2010 Jeep Grand Cherokees uh, SRTs included. I think the 6.1 liters have the same uh, throttle body style but irrelevant. I'm just showing you how to clean it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, show you how I take it off, and then I will get back to cleaning it. So I've got gloves on just because I'm going to be working with some uh, solvents and I'm, this is usually pretty dirty. So <coughs> now that I have it off, I want to point out another thing. This has a 
little connector, electrical connector in here. And because you don't want to plug those in wet, I always shoot some electrical cleaner in here before I start cleaning off the throttle plate, just so that it has time to dry. And then I'll go ahead and use some dielectric grease on the inside to make sure water doesn't get in between it. So just some precaution I take, don't have to do it, pointing out what I do. All right guys, now that we moved a little bit closer, I can show you what I mean, how one side is deceivingly clean, and the other side that would connect the intake manifold has tons of carbon buildup, even after 8,000 miles. Now, a throttle body uses a little gap up here to control the idle, and that little gap is so small that even a tiny bit of carbon buildup can do a lot of damage to your idle. I'm gonna go ahead and take this intake cleaner, which is not only gonna clean it, but it's gonna lubricate the throttle plate. Now this cleaner, does contain solvents, so it's good to keep it away from any heat sources, and it's also good to not get it on any uh, paint. You know, like if your intake tube is painted, it's good to keep it away from that. And if you're spraying it on top of something just like this, it's good to put something underneath it so that it doesn't eat away at my plastic table here and ruin it. And for the heavier soiled parts, I am gonna let this sit just a little bit, but like I said, uh, it's good to stay away from the sensitive components and not just spray it all in there, kind of soak everything so <laughs> alright and you can see with minimal effort this is looking a ton better I barely even had to scrub, but I you know, just did to get the residue off, and uh, it's looking like this now. I still have a little bit more to go, but the tricky part is kind of getting where the throttle plate um, is, you know, right above where the throttle plate meets the top of the actual throttle body itself, so um, just kind of push it lightly, and then take your towel, and then wipe the top, and then release it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. set so you can see how easy that was it took me five minutes once I had the throttle body off and you didn't even have to take a throttle body off to do it I just recommend it you use less this can's gonna last me 10 cleanings so the Berryman's intake cleaner really did all the work uh, with it off I could have just sprayed it on let it sit but I just you know made things go a little bit quicker by wiping it off so this thing looks good as new I'm not gonna have any problems and I might as well do an upkeep with that so I'll do that every oil change or when I'm waiting for my oil to drain so Real quick, real easy to do, super cheap, and uh, yeah, hope it helped.